Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and iOS 15 is finally here. After weeks of going through beta stages, now Apple has released the final version of iOS 15. So of course, most of you guys are probably new to iOS 15 as you haven't tried the beta yet. And of course, there are all things that you should change and you should first do the moment you install iOS 15 on your device. Now, before we get into all that, I just wanna ask you guys to please leave a like on this video and subscribe for more. I will have a ton of new videos coming out on iOS 15, a lot of really cool and very useful videos that will be released in the next few days. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and let's see what are the first 15 things that you should do when you install iOS 15 on your iPhone. All right, first of all, head on to the settings app and go to your Apple ID. And then from there, make sure you go to security and go to account recovery. Now this is a new option that has been added on iOS 15, basically letting you know that you can add a recovery contact for your Apple ID. So if you lose your Apple ID, you can basically use that contact to recover your Apple ID. So the way it works, you just go ahead and tap right here and you will be able to go ahead and add one of your contacts, of course, that you trust, maybe a family member or someone close to you that you really trust. And then that will be your account recovery contact. And through that contact, you will be able to actually recover your iCloud account. And this is very, very useful and I suggest every iPhone user, whenever they install iOS 15 on their device, they go ahead and add a contact as the contact to recover their Apple ID. There is another very useful option that Apple has added under the accessibility settings. So you go under accessibility and from here, you go ahead and scroll all the way down and you will find per app settings. Now right here, you will be able to configure the settings for any of your apps individually. So if you have any apps that you wish you had like just personalized settings for that app, now you can do that with iOS 15. You go ahead and tap right there, you go to the list of your apps and from here select the app. And then of course from the list here, tap on that app and you will have here the options to enable for that app, like increase contrast, you can reduce the transparency, change the text size right there, reduce the motion, or maybe enable smart invert that will be specific to that app. Now, when you want to remove those, all you got to do is go ahead and go to the edit button right there and remove the app from the list. Apple's privacy settings are always amazing and they're very, very useful. And of course they will help you a lot on protecting your privacy and your data. Now a new one is found under the settings of Safari. So you go to Safari right here and you will find right there hide IP address. So you go here and you enable from trackers. Basically this will just go ahead and hide your IP address so the trackers won't be able to actually locate you, find your location and of course track you as well. This will be very, very useful for a lot of people. So make sure you go ahead and switch to from trackers right there under the Safari settings. Of course, focus is also new on iOS 15 and it was introduced by Apple on WWDC 2021 and it's quite good. Of course, it needs to have some more enhancements and so, but we can expect that to happen on 15.1 and so on. But right now you go ahead and go to settings and you will have focus right here. What you can do here is go ahead and just customize any of the mods that are right here, or you can go ahead and add your new ones. But for those that are currently that will come by default on iOS 15, I suggest you go to do not disturb right here and actually choose the apps which you want to basically allow and get notifications from when you have do not disturb turned on. And you will also have here smart activation or you can schedule when you want to turn on do not disturb right here from the focus from the focus section of course do not disturb now has been moved there it used to be here now it says focus instead of do not disturb and you will have it right there so go ahead and configure it the way you like it and of course the way you prefer to have your do not disturb set up the weather app on ios 15 has been totally redesigned and it's quite good way better than the older one on iOS, on iOS 14. Now, another option that has been added is the ability to get notifications 
from the weather app, whether on your city or any location that you choose, there will be rain, coming rain or snow or a storm or whatever that is. So to do that, you will need to actually go to the weather app and just tap on the three dots right there. Now from here, tap on notifications and you will have here the notifications and you can enable notifications for your location right there of course as long as you have location services turned on and then you will also have your locations that you have added on the list you can enable these notifications for any of the cities that you want so anytime there is a change of weather like a storm coming or rain or something like that you will get immediately notified on your iphone with iOS 15, Apple has also introduced Notifications Summary. Now, Notifications Summary basically allows you to get your notifications summarized at a point of time in a day. Now, you can configure that by going to Notifications and go to Scheduled Summary right there. Of course, you will have your apps right here and you can choose which of them you want to include in the summary and you can go ahead and enable it right there. Then you will have here the time when you want to get these notifications. So you will have eight and 18 by default, but you can also add more here. So you can add like any time of the day. So maybe you want to have your notifications, the summary of your notifications every three hours or any time you want, you can go ahead and add it here. And of course, then go ahead and edit this time to any time you like. So go ahead, do this. And of course, choose when you want to get your notifications summarized. Now, of course, there are apps that are more important. And of course, the notifications you will get from those apps are as well more important. Now, what you need to do is go to your notifications and you will have apps here that are may be really important and of course you want to have immediate notifications from those apps go ahead and enable right here immediate delivery now right here is a place where you can individually for each app switch them between immediate in delivery and of course a scheduled summary now you can do that right here so choose like immediate delivery for apps that are really important and also you will have here another option called time sensitive notifications basically this will allow immediate delivery of these notifications on your device as soon as they come so that's really really important as well right here we have another important setting on notifications now, apple has added this i believe it was on beta 8 or 7 and it's really good it has to do with emails so of course most of us now have like two or maybe even three mail accounts but not all of them are that important now apple allows us to actually customize the notifications from the mail app based on accounts so if i go to the mail right here you can see i can go to customize notifications and i will have here two like different accounts that i have and i can go to one of them and choose what notifications how i want to receive them and that's really really good of course if this is less important i don't want to have badges on my mail app from this from this account, I go ahead and disable it right there. Or of course, I can choose another sound for one account and another sound for the other account. Now something real good that Apple has added on the home screen widgets, even though they didn't make them interactive on iOS 15, that of course is not that good, but there is a cool new option that has been added that I suggest you turn on. So if you have stacks of widgets, like I have these right here, go ahead and edit the stack and right here we'll find widget suggestions. Make sure you go ahead and turn that on. Now what that will do for you is basically show you like a new widget there on the stack and that will be based on your location or whatever you're doing at the time. Basically it uses like series suggestions to show you a new widget which you might need and might use based on that time of the day or based on the place that you're at. One of the big features of iOS 15 is of course live text and you can find it anywhere through iOS 15 and of course you can find it on the camera app as well. Anytime you point your camera to something there will be basically a button right here that shows you that there is text and of course it will scan that text. But if that of course doesn't interest you, you don't need it, you can go ahead and turn it off from here. So go to camera and you will have live text right here. So make sure you go ahead and enable or disable that based on your preference. If you don't see it or if you can't use live text on your camera, just know that it might be disabled right here. So go to settings and go to the camera settings and make sure you have that enabled. 
With iOS 15, Apple has added the ability to basically translate from anywhere on iOS. You simply select the text and you can go ahead and translate that text to the language that you want, but you will have to first download those languages. So what I suggest you do, go to settings, go to translate right here and go to downloaded languages and make sure you download any language that you might need in the future, might need to translate from that language or to that language. And then of course you will be able to use that feature anywhere on iOS. Pretty simple, just select any text. And of course, from the pop-up, just select translate. You can go ahead and translate to any of the languages that are on this list, of course, as long as you have them downloaded into your device. Now, of course, with the initial release of iOS 15, there will be more releases to come probably very, very soon. You can expect iOS 15.1 to come sometime in October, but there might be a couple of releases even before that, like 15.0.1 or 0.2. So you want to get those updates as of course, with these initial releases, they are actually like quite a lot of bugs and stuff like that. So they get fixed. So you want to update as soon as possible. What I suggest you do, Go to general right here under settings and go to software update, automatic updates, and make sure you have both of these switches turned on. So anytime any new update comes out, you don't need to bother about downloading it on your device. Having both of these turned on will actually automatically download and install those updates on your device. And of course, always make sure that you check your privacy settings. Go to privacy right here and you will have a lot of stuff that I suggest you take a look at. Like photos, you will have your local network and you will have Bluetooth as well. And I have focus as well and you can see like any of the privacy settings that you might care about, of course, like your camera, your microphone, I suggest you go ahead and take a look at them. And of course, you disable the ones that you don't want to have access to your stuff like your camera, your microphone, or maybe your Bluetooth, or which is really important, the local network. And now this is the new one focus right here. So go ahead and enable or disable these based on your preferences. And of course, this is an old one, but you should do it, of course, as soon as you install iOS 15, and if you get a new device, always make sure that you turn on optimized battery charging. So go to battery under settings, go to battery health right here and enable optimized battery charging. This will get your battery going for a long, long time. And of course, that will also keep the, the performance of your iPhone at a very high level. So always make sure that you have turned on optimized battery charging on your iPhone, no matter which software you have it on. And last but not least, another thing I suggest you do, this will help you a lot, especially with the battery life of your device, is configuring notifications the right way. That's really important. So go to your notifications, make sure that you turn on scheduled summary and choose the most apps and just basically put them on right there so you don't get like notifications all the time. You get them twice or three times a day and that's about it. And for the other apps that you don't need, make sure you have turned off notifications because you don't want to bother with those notifications that you don't actually need. They will just decrease the battery life of your device. So always make sure you take a close look at the apps which are sending you notifications and configure them the right way. So that is basically it for this video, guys. These are the first 15 things that you should do whenever you install iOS 15 on your device. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more iOS 15 videos, and I will see you on the next one.